In this class, I'm going to explain how you can unit test the code that you write. So more specifically, I'm going to explain to you how you can test static methods. Okay, Static methods are more like procedural code. So when you first start programming in Java, you, can, you start writing static methods and small utility methods, and then you can test those methods. So for an example here, I have a class called arithmetic utils and in that I have a method called add which takes two integer arguments and returns the output by adding them. So the return type of this add method is also the primitive int type and it's a class method since it has a static keyword in front of it and it's a public method. Now let's start writing a JUnit test for this. The reason why you need JUnit test is let's say you want to you right now we have one method the easiest way to test it, test it would be to write a main method, call this add method, and print out the output. Let's say you want to add 3 and 4, it produces 7, and you put, it on this, put a system out and see that it is 7. But in a production environment, you'll have like thousands of methods like this. You don't want anyone to sit and watch the output of every method. You want to write an automated program which tests that every method gives the correct output for a set of inputs. So I want to write a program which actually goes and tests that the output of 3 and 4 by adding 3 and 4 is 7. Okay, so what I do is I create a JUnit test case. So go to new and say JUnit test case and here I'll say demo uh, test static methods okay and then I'll choose my class as arithmetic utils okay then I'm going to choose the methods that I want to test in this class I'm going to choose main uh, I'm going to choose the add method and then I say finish so now it has created a method called test add and by default it says fail Fail means it will fail the test. So the way you run this test is you right click here, say run as, and then say JUnit test. And now it's it failed with the message not yet implemented. So you see not yet implemented here. So now let's go and implement this test. So the way you implement this test is you call the the method arithmetic utils dot add, and you give three and 4 as the input and you, you get you collect the output in a variable called actual value and then you also put an expected value variable and you know that you expect 7 and then there's a method in this assert class called assert equals and I'm going to choose an assert equals and I'm going to give expected value for expected and for actual I'm going to say actual value and then if the test fails I'll say add failed now when I run this since the expected value is 7 and the actual value is also 7 it's going to pass. When a test passes you see the green here. So let's say by mistake let's say this add utils uh, by, uh, by mistake let's say somebody puts star here which is instead of adding them he's multiplying them. So now if you run this test case it's going to fail and it's going to fail with the message saying that add failed expected 7 but was 12 so there's a bug in your code the bug is instead of adding them you have multiplied them so to fix it you go back into your class and make it plus and now if you run this method again it's going to pass now let's say I want to add a new method for subtraction so what do I do I create a method 
called subtract okay and then I go and add a test case for subtract test subtract and let's say I want to subtract 7 minus 4 and I should get 3 and here I'll say the message I'll say subtract failed and then I'm going to run this as a JUnit test so the, if you see the uh, the tick mark here with the green tick mark that means add as uh, is successful but subtract has failed why did the subtract fail expected 3 but was 11 so it looks like it is actually adding them instead of subtracting them so let's go to the test method arithmetic utils and fix it and call it x minus y and then go back here and run the test and now it is still failing uh, expected 3 but was 11 oh here it is add sorry so I need to make it subtract now if I run it so now if you see this both add and subtract have successfully passed if both of all the methods of a test class pass you will see a green so now you can go ahead and add uh, methods for multiplication and division and write the corresponding test cases for them